lining Pennsylvania Avenue atop flagpoles and adorning government buildings, it's a welcome to America in all their red, white, and Canadian glory. A welcome for Justin Trudeau, who landed in D.C. this afternoon for an official visit, followed by an oh-so-coveted diplomatic rarity, a state dinner. It is among the highest honors the U.S. can give to another country. It truly is a big deal. I think can Canadians should be complimented, and I think there should be an opportunity here to make, uh, to make progress on real work. State dinners are a moment in Washington where everybody stops and focuses for a moment on that country and on our relationship with that country. That includes talks on key issues, in this case, combating climate change and improving border crossings to boost trade and security in both countries. But on this visit, there's another matter. Trudeau himself. He's the talk of D.C. because even in this land of celebrity, he's quickly become a political star. From the New York Times to Vanity Fair, Vogue magazine, and last weekend's 60 Minutes, Americans can't get enough of him. Echoes of Barack Obama not so long ago, and indeed, the two who've met before and seem to get along are expected to deepen their relationship with this trip, even as officials try to temper expectations. I think it's more of a celebration. It allows both leaders to talk, be close, build a relationship, but, but also to, to look across the width of the relationship. Then there's the dinner itself, a star-studded affair previewed today at the White House. It'll feature Colorado lamb, a kind of duck poutine, and Yukon whiskey. Then there are the pastries. Under a Rocky Mountain presentation, rows of white chocolate snowballs and little trees made of pure sugar. And in the very front is a black bear and uh, deer made out of chocolate by hand. <laughs> yep. In America, they really do think of everything. So if you wanted to, could you eat the trees and the bear? Yes, absolutely. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah. brush your teeth. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Long before the dinner, Peter, there's going to be a big welcome here at the White House tomorrow morning. And then the president and prime minister sit down for talks in the Oval Office. And there's plenty on the agenda. Go back to that dinner for a moment, Paul. Not uh, easy to come by those tickets. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Just to give you a sense, prime minister is staying at Blair House, a place just across the street here from the White House. And earlier tonight, there was a crowd of people outside Blair House just hanging out, waving flags, trying to get a glimpse of the prime minister. Tickets for the event tomorrow night? Forget about it. Senators are trying and failing to get in. True story, I got asked because I'm Canadian. Do you have a ticket? No, it is the hottest of hot tickets. <laughs> All right, Paul, thanks very much.